offense kind of uh, obviously you score on the first few drives. Mm -hmm. So how do you feel the offense kind of made the progression early on in the game? I feel like we gelled. Um, you know, we've been working hard off camp and uh, you know getting ready for <coughs> that past week. So you know, I feel like we did a great job executing and starting fast. What do you see on that? Uh, I guess it was a wheel route. Switch, the switch route for mm -hmm. the two or three to you down the sideline. What did you see on that on that route? Well, you know, I just uh, I seen it was man to man coverage, and you know we were working on that play all week, and uh, you know I just felt like I could make a, a play on it, and it worked out. So there was a, a big opening, or a big angle for him to hit. Did he kind of weave that ball through some traffic? Uh, I mean, too, he's a, he's a great quarterback. We have two great quarterbacks, and you know um, he made a, he made a good play on that. How confident does this tight end room feel? It seems like you guys got a nice group of versatility guys who can catch and, yeah. and block pretty well. Yeah, you know, I feel like we're very versatile. Uh, we have a lot of experience, um, you know, with Hale, Miller, and myself, and we have some young guys as well that have stepped up. So, you know, we have a lot of depth, and, uh, you know, we're, we're very excited about that. What have you seen from Jalen Waddle? I know he's a receiver, but what do you, what do you see from him? You know, he's, he's very explosive. Uh, he's came in, done a great job as a, as a freshman, and yeah. we expect big things out of him. One of the things he talked about before he came here was just how the receivers kind of hold themselves accountable. Mm -hmm. just, uh, how, how has he taken to criticism and, and just kind of grown this offseason? Yeah, he's very uh, mature like for, for a freshman coming in, and he knows his role very well, and he, he does a good job with that. Not not doing too much, but just doing doing his thing out there. Joe was telling us about the to his touchdown run, I got in the second quarter. Mm -hmm. um, it was Jonah saw something from the defense and made an adjustment. Yeah. You know, how often does he kind of do that where he says something to you and you pick up a block or, or whatever it is? How, how often do you see him make those in, in play adjustments? Jonah? Yeah. Yeah, Jonah, he's he's a three year starter now. Um, he's, he's got a lot of experience and he, he studies a lot. So he knows he knows what's going on. He he knows when they, they do a certain adjustment, what we need to, uh, to, to call to, you know, execute that. So. But being being inside of him is awesome. Is, it, is that is there a situation at this point where whatever he says, you know, okay, I'm going to, you know, he, he knows his, his stuff at this point. Yeah, of. yeah. I mean, we're all we're all very uh, experienced. I feel like on the line and tight end wise. So, you know, it, I'm I'm confident in what he says. So, you know, if he if he says it, we gonna go with it. What do you do when you see uh, Tua when he starts to spin around, spin out of trouble, and uh, you know, buy some more time? What do you do? Are you, close to your mind or is that something you guys practice you know kind of in that moment what to do yeah I mean we have both our quarterbacks are very uh you know versatile they gonna run a lot run around a lot and make plays at their feet as well so you know we got a scramble drill is something we practice and it's something that it helps it's very helpful it's hard for defense to stop as a receiver and as a blocker I guess you know obviously your role changes depending on the play but mm -hmm. when two it does kind of spin out of something or it makes steps up in the pocket instead of you know maybe escaping yeah. and rolling out or something like that. What, what what do you feel like your job is at that point? Are you just trying to get open or do you kind of block downfield? What, what's your goal at the point? I mean, it really just depends on if somebody's in front of them and, you know, I'm not really a liable option, I'll block for them. If I have an opportunity to get the ball or to get somebody else open, you know, we'll, we'll do whatever to, to make a play and, you know, get the chains moving. You're roommates with Josh Jacobs, right? I was, yeah. What have you seen from him this off season in, in terms of just like mentally, now that he's physically back to 100%? Yeah, no, Josh, he's he's very explosive. He's, uh, I mean, we've all been knowing what he can do. You know, he's been injured, so you know, it was, it was his, he had a little downplay, but you know, it's, it's uh, this is, I mean, I feel like it's, it's time now to, to show everybody what he's capable of. And I mean, y'all got a little, a little sample of it last week. What do you, uh, what do you see when you look at Arkansas State's team? I feel like they're they're a great team, you know. They, who have been the winner of the conference the past three years or second last year, so you know they're very experienced and they have a a lot going for themselves. So we, it's a, it's gonna be a good game. We're excited. It's a lot of speed. Do they have a lot of speed? Yes, sir. Hmm. What's the advantage of getting a lot of you know receivers involved early, um, and how much of an effect does that have on a player's mindset? You know that you know you know you're already you know you're gonna be in the mix. Yeah, no, it's it's good, you know. Um, to to touch the ball is always it's always fun, and to just get everyone involved, it, it it gets the team going and it gets everyone, you know, just wanting to play faster and just go out there and have fun. Do the players' mindset kind of you know, maybe pick up your energy a little bit more when when you 
get their hands on the ball early in the, in the game? I mean, it's always it's always good to get the ball, but you know, whatever whatever's good for the team, you know, everybody nobody's really selfish on this team, so whatever whatever we got to do to win. Everybody's talked about the weapons on this offense. Just, mm-hmm. You know, when you really think about it, you know, how, how deep, how dynamic can this offense really be? And you know, have you even touched the surface really of what the potential is there? Uh, I feel like no, we haven't. I mean, there's there's still a lot more to be done. You know, with all the weapons that we have. Uh, I mean, y'all, y'all will see throughout this season all we can do. What do uh, guys kind of like Jonathan Jacob, uh, J- Josh Jacobs, sorry, and um, Jalen Waddle what, on special teams, their explosiveness, what does that mm-hmm. kind of do to help with the team and even on the offense? Yeah, you know, that's the third part of the third element of football. So, you know, if, if we have a an, an advantage on that, that's just like an advantage offense defense. So, you know, with J- Josh scoring a touchdown on a uh, kickoff return, and then Jalen making his explosive plays on that, that just gave us a whole another advantage. Two more. What goes into that scrambling drill that you mentioned earlier? Like, what does that kind of look like? I mean, it's really just, you just want to go out there, just get get open, honestly. There's not too much too much I can elaborate on there. It's kind of just like backyard football in a sense at that point. I mean, I can't really elaborate too much on that. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it between us. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. Thanks.